y'all welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome to my youtube channel my name is taviana and today i'm going to walk you through how i package my order from my star babes and um just prepare my orders and some items i use to prepare um for my orders so without further ado let's get into the video but before we do make sure you like comment and subscribe for more content and let me know below um more videos you guys want me to shoot all right so, so first, of course, we're going to need poly mailers. Um, here's just some basic poly mailers that you can get for free from the post office. You can actually order them online as well and get them shipped to your business or your home. Um, this is some of my smaller poly mailers that I have. If it's just like a shirt or something real small. And I have these cute star poly mailers for my larger orders. I love using these, of course. And you know, sometimes if I don't use the whole thing, I can actually fold it in half. So I like that and it goes with my theme, Star Quality Boutique, right? Um, I actually didn't get these from Amazon. I'm gonna put the description below, well, in the description below. Uh, my best friend actually gave me this website in the, in the quality. It's really good. I wanted. I ordered some from Amazon before, and when I got them, I could stick my thumb through it. It was just real. I'm like, how am I gonna ship my clothes on this? And by the time it gets to my customers, the clothes gonna be out the bag. No, ma'am. So of course, I did order these from Amazon. Um, these are my labels. I hear that you can make your own labels, but. I haven't found out how to make them yet, but eventually I am, and I'm gonna start making my own labels. But this was like a hundred for like maybe five to ten dollars, so it was it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I'll put that in the description below as well. And I have my sticky notes and my pen, and I use my sticky notes to write down my customer's name and their order. You know the size, color. Um, if they order multiple of the same thing and I just stick that on top of the clothes until I get ready to package the order just to keep everything organized and so I won't mix up clothes so I just stick their name on their item and what they have and of course you gotta put your business cards in your um in your order in your shipping order so they can you know know your business know your brand they can and they can reach back out to you or go follow you on your social media accounts so of course and thank you cards i like this thank you card um i actually ran out of my other thank you cards my personalized thank you cards so i ran to the dollar store actually and got these yes dollar general four dollars so cute right and it came but like i think well it was only six thank you cards in there and it came with an envelope but in these i like to write a personalized message like a thank you and i give them you know a percentage off just make them you know let them know that i appreciate them so and of course you guys are going to need a scale to weigh your items and i actually ordered this from amazon as well they had a pink one but I think it was too small, but I wanted a pink one because they match my color of my business. But this one would do for now. Um, I think this is like 20 bucks, so not bad. And it's heavy duty. I put a, a huge box on there before. It was like almost 20 pounds. It weighed it, so it's very durable. And I also have a measuring tape. The reason I have a measuring tape is because I like to measure my items like if I have different size shipping bags and I forgot the measurements and so say for instance if I want to fold this in half or fold it a quarter um, they want you to put your measurements in there so the length the width and the height um, so that's why I have my measurement tape as well so those are the items that I will be using today for packing my order. So let's get right into it. And I will show you guys how I package my order and ship it out to my star babes. So right here, I just write down the size and the item um, that I need to go get for my customer and the color, if it's multiple colors of the same item. I do this so I can just um, stay organized and know um 
what each customer has and I won't get it mixed up. So I put the sticky note on top of the items and I'll show you that in the next clip. After I finished writing with my customer order, I head over to my shelf where all my clothes are stored and I just pick out their items if it's multiple and I stack them on top of each other and then I place the sticky note on top and I proceed to do that with each order that I have and I just lay them beside each other until it's time for me to pack them up. Majority of the time, I do take out the time and write a personalized thank you to my customers to let them know I do appreciate them supporting my business. On the other note, please don't get on my nails. I'm about to go get them done. ASA. Yes, I give a discount code for your next purchase, so make sure you go online and shop, ladies. How are you doing? Do y'all see what I have to go through in between time? So here I am using one of my small poly mailers. I think it's a 10 by 13. It is, um, it literally only fits one item. I was able to get a shirt in there and I made sure I put my thank you cards in there. And now I'm about to weigh my item and write my um, weight down on the sticky note. So right here, I'm using a medium sized poly mailer from the post office. Um, these are free, like I said before. You just have to order them online or pick them up. And you actually pay just the standard shipping. So whatever you fit in the bag, it's going to be the same price. All I do is go by the weight. And these are my personalized bags right here. They're larger. They're like 19 by 24. I love them. I was able to fit like four big items in there without even um, using up all the space. I still had way more space. I, could, I was able to fold it in half. So I really do love these. I'm going to go back and get some in medium size because I like them. They're very sturdy and they're very durable. So I will put those in the description below to let y'all know where I got them from. So for now, I use my regular printer to print out my shipping labels from my website until I get an actual label printer to make it faster and easier. All right, that's it. That's how I pack my orders uh, for my star babes. Um, thank you guys for watching and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the um, comments below what else you guys want to see um, out of my entrepreneurial life series. So just let me know.